Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Susan Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church, a church you can call home, where we honor God, love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. Amen. Just like we have a fellowship afterwards. And I'm preparing for that already. Amen. <laughs> but first, <laughs> the spiritual food first. <laughs> and then the physical food. Amen. Amen. So, God wants to bless you. God wants to encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct you. Why? Because you're his children. He's our heavenly father. We're his children. He wants to correct us. Amen. Yeah. So, let's be corrected. Amen. Says the Lord is not finished with you. That's it. This is only the beginning. That's Amen. It. He has great plans for you. None of them include defeat. Amen. You know what? The world tries to tell you and limit you and qualify, they disqualify you from things. God says, I have great plans for you. None of them include defeat. That's it. But we have to have relationship with him. Amen. Because the world's going to try to distract you. Be available to him. That's the main thing. Is we got to be available. He's ringing you. He's knocking. And we're not answering. We got to open up and say, Lord I, Lord, I need you. He says, I know, but you're closed up. You, we, he's not going to force himself on you. You got to be open. You got to be available. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Bible says, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. We just got to remind that ugly devil <laughs> to submit himself. He says, Sub I submit myself to God. I resist you in the name of Jesus. And I command you, he says, he's going to flee. Amen. Woo, he's got to go. Praise God. So see yourself a winner. See yourself a champion. And see yourself an overcomer. See yourself the way he sees you. Not the way the world sees you. Not the way jealous people see you. Amen. Because they're going to put you down. They're going to disqualify you and say you're not no good. You're nothing. See yourself the way he sees you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It's a good thing. Amen. Woo, I'm excited. If you can't tell, just listen to me. Grab your sword, soldier of God, and let's make this declaration together. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says that I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. It says, I'll be taught the word of God today. Amen. Receive it. Say, Amen. Praise God. Receive it. And uh it says my mind is alert. Yeah. The battlefield is the mind. You got to renew it with the word of God. If you don't renew it with the word of God, the world is going to pull you aside and you're going to go down. Amen. So renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. Woo, I'm excited. I've got a few nuggets I want to read at you. So get ready, saint. <laughs> says your word is my light. Live in the word of God and you will never have to be in dark again. We're going to be talking about Shining for Jesus today, amen? So, if you live in the Word of God, you'll never have to be in dark again. Build your faith in the Word and renew your mind and commit commitment daily. Commit to walk in His Word. Let the Word be your counsel, your shield, your buckler, and your weapon in battle. That's all we need. Put on your whole armor of God and press on, child of God, amen? I let it be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will never stumble or fall. For my steps are ordered of him. Man, nothing can stop you except you. You can stop yourself. Amen. Don't do that. Your word is my life. Amen. That's the first one. Man, I am excited. This one says shine for Jesus. <laughs> it says I admire those who choose to shine for Jesus each and every day. And eat after each uh, storm they've been through. Amen. Continue to shine for him. Regardless of what storms come, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Every day, you're going to go through some storms. But you know what? Hey, this is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. The greater one is with me. Amen. He said he never leave me nor forsake me. So whatever comes my way, guess what? Storms comes up. Giants comes up. I got him. He's with me. But I got, you know, the word is in you, but you got to speak it out. And you got to say, wait a minute. Not you. You uncircumcised Philistine giant, get out of my way. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Says, Arise, shine, for your, your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Yes. 
Psalms 119, 104, 105 says, The word is my is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Amen. He is with us. And we're going to fulfill. Amen. We're going to fulfill. We're, going to, we're, 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 we're making it through. That's what he's told his disciples. We're going to the other side. Really? Mm -hmm. You've been hanging around with the wrong crowd and they're going to tell you you can't make it. Mm -hmm. It ain't, ain't going to happen. Why? Because they're in the flesh. They're not yeah. in the spirit. They don't have the word of God. Amen. That's it. His light, his light says, you are the light of Christ to the world, but his light for us to see. Go light your world, saint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shine for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to let that light shine, amen. You know, darkness cannot stop God's light, amen. It's in there. I've got one more, and then we're going to get into the Word. But it says like this. It goes like this. Arise, shine means that you have been doing well where you are, but it's time to step up to another level. New levels, new devils. But we're, going, we're climbing up, and as you climb up, you're fighting a spiritual battle. Yes. And the only way to overcome that spiritual battle is with the word of God. Amen. Because you're fighting spirit. You ain't fighting flesh and blood. That's what the Bible tells us. We're fighting a spiritual battle. Yes. And the only way to defeat that is to use the word of God. He has defeated them. But we're going to use the word of God to put them in place. Amen. He doesn't intend for you to stay where you are. He launches you from there. Arise, shine, press on. Arise means a person is at a lower level than he should be. There's an enemy. It's called average. You know, you don't have to go any further. You can stay right there. You don't have to do anything else. And that's what people are trying to do. And he, the enemy uses people just like God uses people. But God's people are going to encourage you. That's why we assemble ourselves together. But the worldly people are going to tell you, you know what? You don't have to do that. You don't have to go to school. You don't have to work. You don't have to do anything. Just get back and be comfy. Huh. You don't. You don't have to do none of that. Woo! Hallelujah! Don't accept it. <laughs> God is saying, "Arise, shine, go past average. Yes. Come up higher." He's saying, "Come up higher." He's telling us, "This is not our home. Earth is not our home. That's Heaven it. is our home. We're just passing through. Amen. And we're occupying and we're fulfilling and serving Him." And being obedient and committed to him amen. as we live here as long as he has us here amen Woo! for i have much more to show you and much more for you to do that means he's got something for you but we got to make ourselves available yes. amen and once you make yourself available mm -hmm. you're going to shine for jesus because yes. you know what the world is watching yeah everybody's watching oh yeah amen and they're watching your words and they're watching your actions oh yeah and you got to be ready. Amen. You got to be ready for that. Like I said, we're fighting a spiritual battle. Amen. So here we go. Praise God. Thank you, Father, for your precious word. Lord, we just thank you. Open our eyes, Lord, that we may see, Father God, what it is it you want us to see today, Father, in your precious word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. That's an amen right there. <laughs> Praise God. Shine for Jesus. Shine for Jesus and bring light to this dark world amen yes, yes. this world is dark amen yes. and we have to be his lights in the, in this world so and we just saying thank you praise team we, we they say one of my favorite songs says this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine <laughs> amen and one of the verses says everywhere i go everywhere. i'm gonna let it shine amen. okay so i just went to the doctor last week so i was shining <laughs> i went to the grocery store patricia sent me but uh -huh. I was shining everywhere I go. I let it shine, you know. Yeah. So we need to do the same thing everywhere you go. Even when I'm working, I let it shine, you know. So there's no no place to take uh, the breaks or no place to take sabbaticals, you know. <laughs> oh, uh, I need a sabbatical. No, I'm gonna press on with him, and I'm gonna keep on pressing on with him, amen. And I'm gonna let my light shine, mm -hmm. amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I, uh, let me see what we have. Shine for Jesus. That's our message right there. Shine, you shine for Jesus. Amen. We shine for everything else. We try oh, to yeah. shine for the oh, world. Yeah. You know. Hey, when I was up there doing my thing, you know, <laughs> get all nice and pretty up, you know, and I go shine for the world, you know, and you try to look so good and impress people. Mm -hmm. Them days is over. <laughs> yeah. 
So praise God. Now I want to shine for Jesus. If I could do it for the world, I can do it for Jesus. Yeah. You know what? Jesus came and fulfilled his mission. He went to the cross and he was sacrificed. But you know what? Before he gave it up and went back to the Father, he says, you know, Father, forgive him. Mm -hmm. That is a role model. That's an example right there. So we need to do the same thing. We need to shine yeah. for Jesus. Yeah. He did it for us. Yeah. We can do it for him. Yes. Amen. He says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. <laughs> and he says some things, mm -hmm. all things. And I'm going to be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. Amen. Yeah. Not a world pleaser. Keep going. This is good. It says let your light shine and your love for Christ shine. Yes. Share Jesus with somebody today. It might be their only chance or their last chance. Or their last chance. You gotta be careful, you know. You know, we always say this. Well, we, some of us, we say this. You know, something is telling me to speak to that person over there and let them know Jesus loves them. Mm -hmm. Well, that something is the Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you're a child of God, you should know God is talking to me. Yes. And since this temple, this body, is the temple of the Holy Ghost, and yes. so the Holy Ghost is reminding you. I love that person over there. You know that homeless person that everybody's avoiding? Mm. <laughs> he has an opportunity to receive Jesus. Mm -hmm. So why are we going around? Just like yes. uh, the, the, the Good Samaritan. You oh, know? come on now. <laughs> why are everybody going around him? You know, hey, I've got everything. I don't need nobody. Mm. We all need Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> but he stopped, you know, and, oh. and, and helped him. And then says, you know, when I come back, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll help you some more. Mm -hmm. Man, never seen no offense like that before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise God, except Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we could do the same thing. There was yeah. a person needed help. You know, you saw yourself one day, you was down and out. Oh, and somebody oh, stopped man. and helped you. Right. But now we're so good, you know, we can't help somebody. Mm. And especially if the, if the Lord, the Holy Spirit is impressing on you to speak to them and share with them. Mm -hmm. What does it say? It might be their only chance. Yes. Amen. You had a, a, a chance, an opportunity, and we passed it up. We can't do that. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Since don't shine for others so others can see you, mm -hmm. shine so that through you, yeah. others can see yeah. him. I'm That's doing it. it for him, not That's for it. myself. That's Amen. <laughs> He knows it. Well, I'm not going there. <laughs> but I'm doing it. We we do it unto him. Mm. And when people see, he says, man, something different about you. What is it? Jesus? Mm. Amen. As a matter of fact, I do have a brother named Jesus. <laughs> 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 so I grew up with Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is my brother. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, praise God. Right there. I'm going to read it to you. This is verse uh, six, uh, Isaiah 61 says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Amen. I'm going to read it to you from here. And New King James says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. Yeah. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. They can see the difference. Yeah. You're not acting like the rest of them. You're not acting like the world. You're different. There's something different about you. Mm -hmm. People want to know. What is it? Mm -hmm. Don't be ashamed. Mm -hmm. There's nothing different. Yes, there is. The greater one is in me. Yeah. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And you could have him too. And you could be changed as well. Amen. Yeah. It says the, the, the Gentiles shall come to your light. And the yes. kings of brightness of your rising amen so praise god let your little light shine yes. don't 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 hide it <laughs> ah praise god <laughs> keep going oh oh there okay go ahead go to the next one praise god yeah right there john 8 12 says this and jesus spoke to them again and saying i am the light of the world mm -hmm. he is our light amen yeah. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have light, mm -hmm. light of life. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. Right. 
The New King James says that Jesus spoke to them again saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. And the Amplified says, once more Jesus addressed the crowd. He said, I am the light of the world. You see the light with the capital L of the world. He who follows me with a capital M will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Thank you. It says Jesus is the light of the world. Those who follow him will have their path illuminated. Yes. And thus all of us who follow Jesus will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Those that all those who follow Jesus to see the path that they are taking and they'll never stray from that path of righteousness. If they have followed, if they are following Jesus, but further away from Christ, they will walk in darkness. So be careful not to give it up. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Hallelujah. You're walking in dangerous ground, so you don't want to go there. Yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. Keep going. Praise God. That's good. Matthew, Matthew 5, 14, 14 and 6 through 16 says, in the uh, New King James, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it yes. under a basket, That's it. but a lampstand, and it, it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and yes. glorify God in heaven. Amen. So don't hide it. Mm. Don't hide it. You know, so put it on a lampstand. You know, People are going to see. They're going to see the greater one in you. Yeah. And it's going to show. Amen. Ooh, praise God. Thank you. Lord. Thank you. Thank you. And the Amplified says, you are the light of the world. Or excuse me, you are the light of Christ to the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on the lampstand. And it, will, it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good deeds and moral excellence and recognize and honor and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Yes. Amen. And I'm not trying to be God a uh, people pleaser. I'm trying to be a God pleaser. Mm -hmm. So I don't take none of the glory. I just I praise God. I'm serving my Father. Mm -hmm. And all of us can do that. That's Jesus good. came and served his Father. Yes, he did. We can do the same thing, you know, in uh, Matthew chapter 20, I think it is. Let me see. Oh, bear with me. Matthew 20? Well, let me, let me, let me, let me get it right. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 20, verse 28 says, mm -hmm. it's a red. Yeah. <laughs> it says, even so the Son of Man came not to be ministered to unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for yes, men. For Amen. Me. And the um, Amplified says, just as the man, Son of Man came not to be waited on, but uh -huh. to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many, the price paid to set them free. Yes. So he didn't come, you know, he's the Son of God, you know, but he came, he knew it was going to be sacrificed. Yes. Hey Amen. Just like, <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> but we, we are here to serve. Amen. We're not here just to shine for ourselves. We're here to shine for Him. Amen. Woo. The greater one is in us. Yes. Yeah, let Him shine. Amen. And you're on a you're on a lampstand. You're on a pedestal. You can't hide it. Don't hide it. All right. Jesus didn't hide Himself. You know. That's it. He went sure through what He went through, and He fulfilled what He came to do. Amen. Yeah. And we can do the same thing. I didn't. Um, I didn't put this up there, but I'm going to read it to you. The easy to read version. Sometimes I go there and, you know, I say I want to keep it real simple. Matthew 5, chapter 5, verse 14 through 16 says, You are the light of, you are the light that shines for the world to see. They're watching you. They may not see anything until you stumble. And if you stumble or if you do what you're not supposed to do, they'll bring it out quick. I thought you was a Christian. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> You're like a city built on a hill, but cannot be hidden. People don't hide a lamp under a bowl. They put it on a lampstand. Then the light shines for everyone in the house. 
in the same way you should be a light for other people lights live so that they will see the good things that you do and praise your father in heaven and you know what when people say something to me i say well praise god i give him all the praise i give him all the glory amen i'm just here serving him amen so i give all this praise to him Woo, hallelujah so you're on the you're on the lampstand <laughs> and don't hide it amen that light is not going to help you none if you got it under a basket go to the next one luke 11 33 to 36 amen we're talking about shining for jesus amen and every one of us can shine for jesus it says no one when he has lit a lamp, puts it under a bas uh, secret uh, place or under a basket, but on a lampstand, that those who come in may see the light. It's a, it's a helpful thing, you know. The lamp of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is good and the whole body is full of light, but when your eye is bad, your whole body is also full of darkness. Mm. Therefore, take heed that the light which is in you is not darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, having no part of dark the whole body will be full of light as when the bright shining of a lamp gives you light it's going to help you if it's on the lamp stands for you to see amen so we're good. we're here and people are watching us and we're going to shine for him amen and i'm not ashamed to say it but i'm going to say this go light your world wherever you happen to be amen you could be at the uh, on vacation. You could be at the grocery store. You could be at the doctor's. You could be wherever you are, wherever you work. Go light your world. Amen. You don't need a pulpit list to be a minister of reconciliation and sharing the gospel, and sharing the good news. Wherever you happen to be, Amen. wherever you happen to go, Amen. Just like the song says, everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Amen. So go light your world, child of God. <laughs> Again, this little light of mine says, I'm gonna let it shine. Mm -hmm. Let it shine. Don't don't stop it. Don't keep it from shining. Let it shine. Amen. Woo. I love people to know. When I was in the world doing my thing, I wasn't ashamed. People saw what I did. And I was so happy of it. Man, you know, I, th I thought I was doing the right thing. <laughs> Ignorance. <laughs> let it shine. Don't put it under a basket. And don't let Satan blow it out. Don't let nobody blow it out. Yeah. Amen. I've said I've shared this and I'll share it again. People, you'll see people each and every day. The Bible says this is the day the Lord's made. Rejoice, be glad in it. Regardless of if it's cold outside or is it hot outside or it's windy or storming or whatever. The Lord has given me a day to serve him. And yes. I want to rejoice and be glad in it. Right. I've already settled this. But when you go out. There's going to be, anywhere you go out there is rage. Mm -hmm. And people are going to want to bring you into their storm, mm -hmm. but you bring them into your peace. Your peace. Don't let them drag you into their storms. Yeah, yeah. You got, I've got peace over this situation. <clears throat> and greater is he that sent me than he that's in the world. Oh, Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> like it or not, we're on display. People look at us and expect the, us to act a certain way talk a certain way and they're watching how we act and some of them might even be influenced by the enemy mm. to just come and irritate you and see what's going to happen oh, yeah. huh because <laughs> yeah. we used to do that in the world man mm. go pick fight with somebody yeah go pick something with somebody and just let them know hey you know why you think you're too good mm. you don't hang out with us mm. you know the enemy used to drag us into stuff like that mm. not anymore mm. you know the bible says mm. renew your mind with the word of god yes. we fight a spiritual battle every yes. day and the battlefield is the mind and you're going to get these thoughts mm. and i still get these thoughts but you know i know where to put them now yeah and i know how to hit the delete yeah. button down <laughs> so i don't have to go there no more i say you know what that's the enemy yes. <laughs> and i ain't going to fall for the enemy mm. and i ain't going to give in i'm just going to press on Delete, delete, get, get my GPS and press on, you know, with yes. the things of God. This is what he wants me to do. Rejoice 
and be glad in this beautiful day I've given you. And minister to people. Yes. <laughs> be a witness. Just like a job interview. You're on display. <laughs> right. Says, watch your words. Again, words. Says, well, go go to the next one. Yeah, leave it right there. <laughs> watch your words. Guard your words. Guard your, you, 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 it says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. Death and life are in the power of the words you mm -hmm. speak. Mm -hmm. So be careful. Why? Because death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Yes. Amplify says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will indulge in, indulge, it will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of the words. Sure. And the easy to read verse just says, the tongue can speak words that bring life or death. Those who love to talk must be ready to accept what it brings. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. Amen. If you're sowing yeah. bad seed, you're going to reap yeah. bad, bad things. <laughs> but it's for you. Mm -hmm. Well, I just gave it to them. Uh -uh. Yeah, you may have given it to them and you uh -uh. might have spoken uh -uh. it to them, but them words are coming back at yeah, you. They're coming to you. It's going to grow in here. Yeah. And it's coming you against are. you. That's Amen. It. So, death and life. Mm. Death and it starts with death and life are in the power mm -hmm. of the words you speak. So, you be careful. Not to say it. You know the best thing to do is <laughs> we say it all the time. Just because it pops in your head don't mean it's got to pop out of your mouth. That's, it. Mm -hmm. That's not going to bless anybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't want no bad thing coming back at me. So be careful. Also, as Pastor Pat says, <laughs> zip the lip. Mm -hmm. Don't say it. Put a guard. <laughs> mm -hmm. Put a guard there. <laughs> Watch your actions. Imitate him. You know, if you have a Bible, well, I want to read it to you from the uh, Amplified. And we've said it so many times, but you know what? The word is never outdated. No, it isn't. Amen. So if you think you've been, is, is outdated, you got something else coming. That's it. So be careful. Mm. Woohoo! Chapter 5. Mm. Ephesians chapter 5. Go to the next one. Ephesians chapter 5, well, I did write it on the Amplified here, but um, Ephesians 5, chapter 5, verses 1 and 2, when the Amplified says, be, well, it says, starts off with, be imitators of God. Yes. You know, being in this world, we try to imitate all kind of people. Yeah. And we have all kind of role models, you know, oh, that we follow. Boy. I used to have all kinds, you know, when I was <laughs> in the world. <laughs> but it says, be imitators of God. Amen. Amen, brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says, therefore... Become imitators of God. Copy Him and follow His example as well beloved children imitate their Father. Yeah. He's our Heavenly Father. We're His children. And I'm going to imitate my Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. That's what the Word says. And tw uh, verse 2 says, And walk continually in love. That is, value one another. Practice empathy, empathy. empathy and compassion mm -hmm. unselfishly. Seek the best for others. Seek the best for others. Mm, come on now. <laughs> yeah. Just as Christ also loved you and gave himself up for us. And offering and sacrifice to God slain for you so that it became a sweet fragrance. Yes. He took the penalty of sin yes. and he was sacrificed for us. He paid the price. Mm -hmm. So you know what? You've been bought with a price. Mm -hmm. And we owe a debt we cannot pay. That's it. So the best thing to do is get right with the word. Yes. Get right with him. And start serving him. Some of you watching, some of you listening, you've been running from him too long. It's time to come home. Amen. Some of us have just uh, uh, need to renew our relationship with him. Amen. And say, Lord, I've sinned. He says, Well, he already knows. He just wants you to come clean. He says, If you confess, I forgive and forget. And we need to do the same thing. But you know, as long as you're not renewing your mind, you're going to keep listening to the same thing you know he won't forgive you he's not forgiving you you know so that's you know we we, we got to renew our mind each and every day with the word of god so watch your watch your words watch your actions when i walk in dark room when i flip the switch when you walk in a dark room and you flip the switch guess what you expect those lights to go on because i need them especially if it, if, it, if it's dark or if it's night that light comes on. You know what? Man, it illuminates. 
it works great. Thank God when the light bulbs are working. God expects the same from us. We are his flashlight. We are his light or, or lighthouse. And we need to go and light our world. Amen. We need to go and be these lighthouses, these light bulbs, uh, this, this light. He says, I'm going to let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Yes. Amen. So go light your world wherever you happen to be. You don't have to be all at the same place. We can go anywhere and shine for him yes. each and every day. We shine like stars in the universe. Yes. You know, when they, those stars shine, you can yes. see them. And people can see Christ in you. They, they know something different about you. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. It says light expels darkness. Amen. Go to the next. Here we go. John 1 5. New uh, King James says this. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. I got several translations here. The New uh, Living Version says this. The light shines in darkness, and darkness has been uh, has never been able to put out the light. Light over darkness every time. Amen. And the New King James says, And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. And the Amplified says, The light shines on in the darkness, and the darkness did not understand it, or overpower it, or appropriate it. And absorb it and is unreceptive to it. Amen. Hallelujah, man. Light. <laughs> darkness ain't light. No, because when there's light, there's no darkness. So let's walk in Him. Let's walk in, in light. Amen. And let our light shine for Him. So light will expel darkness. Amen. So, whoo, hallelujah. I'm excited. Stay excited. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there you go. I had a nice one for you. It says, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it. Yeah. Never extinguish. Yeah. And when, when it's lit, it's lit. A hallelujah. So praise God. Be a light for Him. And every time you step out, you know, in the dark world, you bring light. Amen. Praise God. Ooh, hallelujah. Keep going. Right there. Philippians 2, 12 through 16, talking about being light bearers. It says to shine brightly for Jesus. Ooh, praise God. That's you. <laughs> Ooh, praise God. I think I'll read it from here. You guys check that up there. It says the New King James and the New Living Translation. It says, therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in the absence of work out your salvation with yes. fear and trembling for it is god's work in you both and will it, it, it excuse me for it is in god who works in you both to will and to do his good pleasure amen that's that's the uh and verse 14 says do all things without uh, complaining and disputing yes. that you may become blameless and harmless children of god without fault in the midst of crooked and perverse generation, yes. among among whom you shine as lights light. in the world, holding fast to the word of life, mm -hmm. so that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I may that I have run not run in vain or labor in vain. Amen. Man. So you know what? Hey, I'm doing it under Him. I know He's going to reward me and He's going to repay me. He's already He's going to bless me. Period. You know, so praise God. Thank you, Lord. So shine, be a shining, be a shining light for Jesus. Amen. Ooh, praise God. There we go. Uh, we are His lights. Ephesians five and eight. Uh, New King James says, "Walk in the light." For you were once in once darkness, but now you are lights in the in in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Amen. Ooh. Man, I can't say that enough. Next one. I'll leave it right there. A new uh, living translation says, this one says, but all things become visible when they are exposed by the light. For everything that becomes visible is this or light. Amen. And the new living translation says, but there 
evil intentions were exposed when the light shines on them. Ooh, praise God. Thank you, Lord. This world needs light. We live in a world that does not care about Jesus. It is a world that makes fun of Christians. But guess what? They need. They make fun of you yeah. until they need prayer. And then they come looking for you. <laughs> Can you pray for me? Yeah. Amen. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's okay. Just shine for Jesus. Don't say, well, you know what you need to me. No, don't bring that. Let the past go. <laughs> forgive and forget. That's the main thing. We got to forgive and forget just like Jesus. And you know what? When you forgive and forget, it, it reflects on Jesus. Amen. Ooh, praise God. It is a world, excuse me. It may not be a very comfortable position to be in, but we play an important role in this world. Amen. We're serving Jesus and we're letting our light shine for Him. Ooh, praise God. Thank you, Lord. The opportunity to shine brighter is greater today than ever. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's a song, I don't know if you heard, but it goes like this it says, Jesus now more than ever. Yes. We need Jesus now more than ever. More than ever. And the day is coming, you know, so quit putting off. Yeah. We need him now. And That's you know good. what? You got a world, you mm -hmm. got a, a world of people around you mm -hmm. that you need to shine for. Right. That you need to share Jesus with, you know. Yes. Praise God. Thank you. It says light exposes the true character of everything. Ephesians 5 13. We just we just read there. Thank you, Father. So in closing, I just want you to know. To continue to be a light yes. for Him. Amen. Ooh. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It says, the source of light is the sun. S-O-N. Yes. <laughs> Jesus is our supreme source. Mm -hmm. The sun of righteousness. His, li His light is reflected upon the world and from the millions of believers mm -hmm. whom he has enlightened and blessed with his spirit. Jesus is the light of the world, and we are his lights. Our light comes from him. So our duty is to let your light shine for him. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Bless, bless, bless. So in closing, I just want yeah. you to watch your words, watch your actions again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the world is watching. Co-workers watching, mm -hmm. families watching, friends are watching, yeah. church is watching. Guess what? Mm -hmm. If you don't know by now, he's watching. Yeah. <laughs> he never leaves you nor forsake you. He's always with you. Mm -hmm. Wherever you go, he is with you. So don't let your fire go out. Yes. It takes a spark to get the fire going. Don't let it don't let it go out. Mm -hmm. Don't be a dim light or a low light for Jesus. They charge up. And keep All the right. flame hot and high for Jesus. Yes. Shine bright for him each and every day. Don't let your light says let your light shine for Jesus always. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Did it bless you? Yes. It blessed me. Ooh, yeah, praise God. I'll Thank you, Lord. Light <laughs> and if you don't want it, I'll take it off. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Some of you watching, listening. Now's the time. Come back to Jesus. You know, you've been running from him too long. Some of us have Started and mm -hmm. stop and start mm -hmm. and stop, but it's time to just mm -hmm. commit yourself to Him. Yes. Commitment, make a commitment, you know, yes. to make Him your Lord and Savior from this day on. Amen. All you need yes. to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I, I repent. Come to my life, be my Lord and Savior, and He will. He won't turn you down. Amen. So let's remember that. You have sickness in your body. I've been praying over myself. I went to see the doctor. So. Pray for me too. But I, you know, I just tell, I remind myself and I speak to myself. I want to hear it. Amen. I say, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. So sickness, I don't receive you. Malfunctions, I don't receive you. I want my body, each and every part of my body to function just the way he created it to function. So you speak to the word of God over yourself. Don't go around cutting yourself down and saying the wrong things. Speak what the word of God says. Amen. Confess the word over yourself. Say, by his stripes I'm healed. So every part of me is working just perfect. Yes. Amen. So praise God. And it's time to give. Amen. So go to our website. It should be on the screen, nbcbigband.com. Mm -hmm. Hit that donate button. And uh, if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843. And for cash apps, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God loves you and we love you. And remember to 
shine for Jesus. Amen. Amen.